welcome back to another vlog. Today we are Christmas shopping. I need to do laundry. I'm saying that now so I do it. Um, the dogs are getting bath soon. Just got a, got a lot of like random work I need to do when I get home tonight. But I really need to go to the mall in the holiday spirit. Like, or to get in the holiday spirit. I just, it doesn't feel like Christmas to me right now. Even though, <laughs> look at the background. So we're gonna go to the mall. I have a list of Christmas gifts. I pretty much... I don't know, I need to, to see. I got my brothers, I got my dad's, I got my grandpa's, I got my niece, I got Alyssa. Okay, uh, I don't know, my stepdad's the hardest to shop for. My stepmom's also hard to shop for. For a stop, I wanna go into Lush because like, you gotta go to Lush, you know what I mean? Anyways, you guys don't care about this list. I'm just making a list, checking a choice. I to make a joke and say take a shot every time I make that joke in Vlogmas. And then I thought, what a fun game we can play. Make a, like, my Vlogmas drinking game. Leave in the comments below, like, take a shot every time she, you know, whatever. The winner, I will be Venmoing $20 to, to so get, like, Starbucks for yourself and your friend. Anyways, best of luck. Back to the vlog. I'm obviously really funny. So, anyway, subscribe if you're new here. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, I'm going to go grab coffee. It's, like, 10 a.m. Walking into the mall. I, this is, like, the only time it's not going to be crazy busy. I hope I start feeling festive. I don't even really have that much shopping left to do. I've already gotten so much done. So I'm just gonna shop for fun because I need it to feel like Christmas. I also need a nap today. I filmed the 5 a.m. morning routine and I went to bed at like 12.30. So I'm already tired. That blue dress is so beautiful. Went to Aritzia. The Aritzia at North Park is so much better now than it used to be. But I went to the Green as Aritzia like three or four months ago, and I'm still waiting for them to get that stuff in because it was so good. I might as well just order it online. I made a big mistake. Also, I will probably opening too. Oh, Santa! Like I'm at the point where like I literally might go to Santa. Like that is how like unchristmasy I feel. Wait, y'all! I'm gonna go to William Snow. That'll fix me. Now to Sephora and Lush. Alright y'all, in and out before noon. Got a lot of shopping done. I'll show you guys what I can show you. A lot of it's for me, not gonna lie. So big for literally two things and I put my William Sonoma stuff there. So much stuff. We're gonna do a little car haul while we wait for the dogs to be ready. Sorry about the steering wheel. Okay, we're gonna start off with Zara. I actually got quite a few things from here because I've been needing to get a new black turtleneck because I'm not kidding. I've had the same black turtleneck from the Kindle and Kylie line at PacSun from probably like freshman or sophomore year of high school. It was a great turtleneck, don't get me wrong, okay? But it needed to be replaced. It was like really faded. So I saw one and then I saw all the different colors and I had to get it. Just got a simple black turtleneck and got all these in a medium. Um, and they're stretchy too. I feel like they'll definitely be the perfect size. I got a green color. I thought that was cute. Like just a fun little pop of color in the winter. I obviously got a pink and yes, I need to stop buying pink tops because I have so many. I also got a cream. Okay, that's four of the same one. Yes, okay. I also got this, I know, another pink sweater, but I thought it would be really cute and I'm like planning my year of outfits now and I felt like this would be really cute to wear one day somewhere like with jeans and you know, maybe in Amsterdam. I feel like that could be the vibe. I got this, I saw this at checkout and I got out of line to go look at it. Going to our lake house next weekend for our like family Christmas trip. And I just thought this would be so cute with the little puffs, like the poofs, you know? Or even a book club like tomorrow. This, and like even if you're layering it, if it's super cold out, the cream like turtleneck underneath, I just, in like jeans, I just think it is the cutest thing ever. I got those. I'm also really excited because now that I've, you know, added so many new recipes, Oh my god, I have to add them to my recipe book. I have a lot to do today, guys. A lot is going on. I'm really excited for the trip because I'm gonna be cooking like the whole week or the whole weekend. Okay, I went to Sephora and I got four things. I got a replacement for the Kosas um, clear brow gel. I also got an actual like brow pin from them. 
Um, I'll let you guys know how I like it once I actually use it. I can get my brows done desperately. And then I got the Gwen Stefani, like two of the lip products. I got a lip liner. I'm just gonna try it right now. These are not even matching. They didn't have a matching one. So I was like, you know what, whatever. One thing about me is I love a pink lip. I love a very bright pink lip. This is red. What? I do not love the application of this. And like, it's okay. Well, I'm gonna have to play around with this more, but I am excited about this lip color. I got this lipstick in the shade Tragic Me. This is not the same, so look. I listened to Gwen Stefani on Dax Shepard and I just like, not matching at all, but I don't like that, like, I'm about to say a bunch of compliments about Gwen Stefani, but I'm not into this either. Like, I don't like the application. Maybe I just need to keep giving it a couple tries. Sometimes I don't like makeup right away and then I start using it and it's like my holy crap final like the Kosas face blurring powder is like literally magic. And the first time I used it, I was like, I don't get it. Also, I was in New York. When I'm traveling, like, you can see it in like the New York recordings. I just don't look my best. Like, I, my face is so puffy. I'm breaking out. I like can't, even when I tan, it doesn't work. Like something, you know. Anyways. You know what? I kind of like the finish, though. I like the, like, look of it. Putting it on wasn't, like, amazing. Like, it wasn't super creamy or anything like that. Maybe that's why I didn't really like it. I'll keep trying it. But anyways, I listened to Gwen Stefani on Doc Shepard, or Armchair Expert. I'm listening to Armchair Expert right now, actually. I could... She was the most down-to-earth person ever. It felt like you were talking to someone from, like, your hometown, like, coffee shop or something. Like, it's crazy how famous she... Because, like... I, in my mind, can't put those two together because she acted so normal in small town. I can't even, like, picture her being Gwen Stefani when I listen to her. You know what I mean? Like, I've never heard someone be, like, so just, like, down to earth, but, like, to the extremes. Like, so nice, just easy go. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, you gotta listen to the episode. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. It was crazy. Guys, guess what? I finally got... The Dolly Parton Christmas cookies. Baking some cookies. I'm really excited. I should have gotten some to make with Soph, but she's gonna she's a busy girl anyways, honestly. I'll see her next weekend, but I asked her when she could come over to my house next and she said next summer. So it's very busy. Sophie's my niece, by the way. Um I got these tights from Anthropology that I thought were so cute. They're brown, have little rhinestones in them. I was thinking maybe I'll wear these with brown heels and then I have a brown dress on Friday. Thing about me is that I have like pretty wide calves. Basically, tights like never fit me. I have to like really size up, but I have really big calves and they never fit. And like even like my cowboy boots, like I need to get all of them wide in. They're always tight. Like I need like extra, 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 extra wide on pants. And I'm really only realizing in the recent year how wide my calves are compared to like normal. And like my legs just don't have like that's kind of like why I want it's like my insecurities like my legs just don't have like a lot of shape to them like they're just like straight you know and it's because my calves are so wide but it makes tights really difficult so all that to say i'll keep you guys posted on sizing for these i did get a size large when i'm normally a medium so i did size up one but i will normally get large in tights now i realized so i probably should have gotten extra large so we'll see some wrapping paper for lauren's birthday from Lush, I feel like I've officially grown up because I didn't get bath bombs because I was like, I don't want to clean my bathtub after using that. And I'm officially my parents because they would get so annoyed with me growing up that I would always do bath bombs because it would just make the bathtub so like messed up, you know? I got this um, Honey I Washed the Kids shower gel just to try it, I don't know. Um, cookie dough lip scrub, really needed this. And then, I don't know if you guys, have y'all ever used this? The Rose Aryan body conditioner. It is life-changing. It's like a shower gel, essentially, that you wash off, but your skin feels that moisturized, like, once you're done. Like, this, I cannot believe I didn't... I need to buy these in bulk, honestly, because it is, like, the best product ever. As someone whose skin is just naturally very dry, and I have, like, kind of chalky, pale skin, when I use that stuff, it's, like, silky smooth. It is just incredible. cannot re recommend that enough. So that is it for my haul of things that I can share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of unnecessary, but I needed to take myself on a little solo shopping date, if you will. And now I need to go home and work. I just wanna say, I'm a little 
bit of a TikTok star these days. So funny, I feel like you get more of my personality there because I like film them with friends. Um, and even like the Okine TikTok right now is like popping off. Also, if you guys ever want like giveaway and products or like to be added to like, the PR list, we do like PR giveaways. It's always on TikTok. Just follow us on TikTok at the Okine. But that's not even what I came on here to talk about. While my budding TikTok career is very exciting, I have some very upsetting news. You know what, I don't want to speak poorly of them because I did say some mean things about them on TikTok and I did delete it because I felt like it was a little harsh. I said, and I quote, actually, no, I'll keep it to myself. But if you really wanted to know, it wasn't nice. I'm heating up, by the way, my chicken and dumplings and this is like one of the best things I've ever made. Like, obviously that's cold, I'm heating it up, but like they're just unreal. I've never made dumplings before and like it's the best. It's definitely not like, a super like healthy thing. It's not like I'm, I mean, I'm not really into that. It's not like my like pale bone broth, vegetable, chicken soups and stuff. Um, but it's a perfect rainy day or cozy soup. Oh my God, it's so good. I say that though, because I had to like go buy whole milk and buttermilk. It's not like I, I, with like vegetables and that stuff I always have at my house. You know what I mean? Easier to make that stuff. Okay. Some not nice person made a rumor today that there was going to be the holiday sequel. Now, if you know me, you know that is my favorite movie. And I have watched that movie probably every single week. I want to say since it came out, like almost my entire life. That is the movie. We named, the, literally, we named the Cameron scarf the gray scarf. Which, by the way, they're probably, if you're watching this, there's probably only a few, if any at all. So if you want the gray scarf, go to the Okine right now and check it out. If not, I wear the brown all the time. That's my favorite one. Anyways. We named the Cameron scarf after Cameron Diaz, who plays Amanda Woods, obviously, in The Holiday. The only wine that I like and I drink is Aveline because it's from Cameron Diaz. My entire style is inspired by Amanda Woods in The Holiday. Like, I am the biggest holiday fan in the entire world. My dream trip is to, like, go there because I know you can do, like, the whole experience. Anyways, some hater... Some absolute hater made up some rumor that there's gonna be a sequel. And so I, I saw the news this morning and I almost cheered up. I was so, 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 so happy, so excited. I immediately made a TikTok. Turns out, fake news. It's not true. It was misinformation. And um, I'm, Nancy Myers said it was a rumor and it's not true. And it literally ruined my entire day. I am so sad. I was so excited. I was like, how am I gonna focus the next probably year, 365 days at least knowing that this movie is coming out. Like I'm literally not able to focus every day. Like it's my favorite thing in the entire world. If you know me, I'm also like not a movie girl. I'm not a TV girl. I'm obviously a reader. The holiday, like I was so, I even texted Dom, everything. Oh my God, it was so embarrassing. Just know that to my fellow holiday lovers, I see you, I hear you, I support you, I'm in your corner. I get it, I really do. You know what? Actually, I'm back already. You know what? I'm incredibly against cancel culture. I really am, for the most part. Well, actually, I am against cancel culture. I think there's certain things that, whatever. That's a different conversation. Um, but I will make an exception for the person who started this rumor. I would like for them to be canceled immediately. It was not funny. What was the point? You know what, no. I can only, I don't know why in my head, like they did it with like malintent, but like, the sun reported it too. Why did I believe the sun? I don't know. I have to be honest with you guys, no cookies are being made tonight because my grandma is going to want to make the Dolly Parton cookies with me. What was I thinking? So I'm going to bring those to the lake next weekend, which I will also be vlogging. Don't even worry. Been getting some work done. So tomorrow I have Dallas Book Club. I might be touring houses. I might not. My realtor is still letting me know. The day after we have a pop-up. This weekend's crazy. Next week we have more pop-ups. We have like a lot of social stuff. So I'm working on that. I need to edit a bunch of vlogs and stuff. And then I also really want to read. It's 5 p.m. right now. I think I'm going to take my makeup off, get cozy, get comfortable. And honestly, I'm ordering Zap. Zap is like, I don't want to say like, okay, like when I say it's like my weakness, I don't mean that in the way of like putting labels on food or like it's bad for me or whatever. I just mean like the second I think of it, I have to have it. Like it is something that is just so all-encompassing. So when I say it is like my, my biggest weakness, I mean that like the second it's in the mix, it's like game over. You know what I mean? It is so good. It doesn't make me feel amazing after I eat it. I'm going to be honest with you. You really have to spread it out. It's really like my post, like my hangover meal or my post-travel meal. Like I always have it waiting for me when I get back. But it just nothing sounds better right now than drunken noodles from Zap. If you guys live in Dallas, 
you have to get drunken noodles. They're so good. And then also I get the crab cheese rolls. I go through periods of time too where my appetite is like out of control and then when it's just kind of like more normal of an appetite I think. It's probably like a hormonal thing, I don't know. But there's also a lot of food too. So like it's nice because then I have leftovers. You know, but sometimes I have no leftovers because this is so good. I'm gonna do some skincare. I, I really need to figure out this whole like tanning my face thing because my actual face does not match my body at all. Not into that look. Just finished editing. I think it's like 7:30, and I'm eating my zap that just arrived finally and watching Vlogmas. I'm obviously watching Brooke. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.